Costume, I'm back again. This is my uh, end of year wrap up, Sitchy Plans project, uh, Sitchy Plans 2021 video. The lighting's changed a bit from my video that I literally recorded an hour ago, so um, yeah, we'll go with it. I've got the light, my light on, so hopefully it'll um, be 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 okay. Uh, welcome to my channel. It's a channel about cross stitch and uh, other crafts sometimes. It's, um, I say it's, it's New Year's Eve still, so I thought, although this probably won't go up till tomorrow, I'm all a bit discombobulated. Let's have some coffee and we will uh, refocus. Right, so these are my, my 2020 wrap up and my 2021 goals all all in my new planner so there'll be lots of inserted graphics and stuff um uh, i will do a big 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 slideshow at the end of the number of projects i completed i'll reveal that later so um on with the show it's like very miranda-y then saying that it's like trotting galloping that's what i meant um technical and directorial team is here Thank you. okay so my goals for 2020 were to finish Elizabeth Shepherd and Blackwood Angel to get 800 subs complete stitch from stash A and B in the black uh, complete the daily 30 scavenger hunt keep up with my journal and to have 60 finishes so let's see how we got on are you ready for a story? Anywho, okay, so Elizabeth Shepherd, nope, didn't get it done, but I did get a page finished, so that's progress. Uh, black work, I stitched on it one day, so, well, one hour. Okay, subs. Well, thank you to the 900 and I think it's eight of you who are here. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you. Um, if you've been with me a long time thank you if you've only joined me in the last couple of videos it's lovely to be able to share my stitching journey with you um, so thank you thank you for the comments and the likes that you always leave me uh, it really is a blessing to be part of this stitching community daily 30 scavenger hunt I completed the main tier so I did what I, what I set out to do I knew I wasn't going to do the four tiers so I did the main tier uh, stitch from stash, both in the black, I can't remember what the figures were, but they are both most definitely in the black. Uh, so, a lot of finishes. Uh, journal, it was basic, um, but I did it, and I even put in pictures of all my finishes this year. I've got a few to finish off, um, so when I do my, put together my slide here for the end of this video, I shall just remember to pop those in an email to myself print off and then so that's actually a really nice thing to have done and I in my new planner I've made space to make sure I can to record them as well uh, I had 75 finishes so that was 30 ornaments thank you stitch mania uh, one biscornu that's all I stitched this year which was the one for Sharon uh, not one tiny biscornu who am I Maybe then make a comeback in 2021. Um, 28 small projects, so that's kind of those who are 80 by 80 and less. That's kind of roughly what I counted as small. I looked at the picture and went, yeah, that's a small. Um, 14 medium sized projects, so anything from 80 to about 150, thereabouts. That's a medium project for me. And large projects, anything over the 150 mark, although. I've cut a piece of earth as a large project, but I actually think it's only 125 by 125. It seemed bigger than that. And Alice. And Alice. So um, that was good to get a, the sale done in the year it was done. I'm, I'm super proud of actually having done that because I do have the tendency with sales to tailor up and to kind of just drift off. So what else did I do? I framed lots of big pieces 
So Main Street and the cityscape got framed. Um, and then they're on the wall. That's that was good. Peace on Earth, one of my favourite finishes on, of this year, uh, how I finished that. Um, Needles Dance and Why There Are Bees. I'm still down the side of the cabinet waiting to go on the wall. Um, what else? I did my first two strawberry finishes literally this week. So that, I feel that's another finishing technique under my belt. I think going into 2021, I think I've got five FFOs to do. So that's the three flamingos, the Lindy Stitches piece, because I started that and then realised I didn't have everything all the time and the patience to do that one. So that, that's still to be done. Because um, I'm going to do a drum with that one. What else? Pick fabric and everything. So it's all. And maybe it's four. I don't know. Oh. Raven's reply, there we go. I reacquainted myself with my sewing machine. So the pedal got found, the sewing machine got serviced. Um, and I, I, I did make masks. My son wears two of them to school. Um, yeah, these are the mask template. I mean, it seems to be the only person who, whose masks fit him. So, anywho, they were good. Did that. A tiny bit on my hexagon quilt. It's probably gonna be a lifetime project. Or it's going to be a placemat. It'll be one or the other. Um, so my big finishes were the Jack Frost Tree Farm series. Uh, Alice, I would say. Um, anything else? Peace on Earth, yeah. I started my first long dog sampler. That was Cardinal Points. And one of the absolute highlights this year is that I got to know two people really well and um, it's been an absolute joy to zoom with them sometimes most days in the week so uh, that's that's just been my one of my absolute favorite things about this year it's been a pretty rotten year for a lot of people but that's been um, just a high point so yeah um, so 2020 for what it is it's been a pretty good stitching year for me. <laughs> Working from home certainly has given me a, probably an extra hour a day to do stuff, not necessarily stitching, but to do the stuff that sometimes takes out my stitching time. So that's great. So there we go. I will do, at some point there will be a slideshow, maybe now. Yeah, let's put the slideshow in now. And um, I shall come back with some plans in a minute.
Plans 2021 here we come okay so some of the plans are my kind of my every year plans so stitch on st stash in, in black in the finish in the black keep up my journal 60 finishes again I want to whip down to 10 I have 24 whips at the moment which is probably one of the highest uh, whip counts I've had ever I don't think I've 21 maybe one year but another 24 so I'd like to whip down to 10 at some point as long as I get down below 10 at some point in the year and then it doesn't matter if it builds back up I did that to th this year whip down to 10 and then built it back up so it's just about clearing out some of the old stuff and getting um, new pieces in um, I'd like to complete eight months of the zombie run I realistically I'm not going to do it every month I'll have a non-stitchy stitchy bug goes away month I'll I'm bound to be ill for two weeks at some point apparently that's November generally um, I'd like to finish a bap my three baps are now for the hay stitchers watching for the full coverage stitchers watching for those who like to embark on things like I um, can't think what it's called Death, uh, like death by cross stitch and all that kind of thing um, what else was it? it wasn't what I was thinking the two big samplers that Beth's twisted his eyes on the sparrow and consider the lilies that kind of thing I understand those are like mega baps in my book but um, for me a bap um, is either Elizabeth Shepherd, Cardinal Points or monkey wrench for me partly monkey wrench there because it's on although it's a smaller piece it is on 40 count which i've discovered isn't my favorite but monkey wrench was choked because it might have had some stunned this piece of fabric anyway <coughs> yeah so those are my baps um probably should have put something about whipco on there but there we go so those are my goals to say a thousand subs for for street that'd be fantastic wouldn't it Not that I'm motivated by that, but it just kind of feels nice that my channel's growing, albeit slowly. Um, Okie dokie. Plans. Uh, Daily 30's yearly challenge is called Zombie Run this year. Uh, each month you will have to stitch a certain number of stitches to hit a certain number of miles, and that's, that's the plan, basically. You have four projects that you have, uh, that, that have been nominated, so I will show you my four. Oh, I've already put a, filled the, um, my new bag. So Elizabeth Shepherd is one. She was in my scavenger hunt last year, and that was I avoided her because 
didn't have to stitch on her. But one of the rules of Zombie Run is you have to stitch on all your four pick, all, all of your four things at least for one stitching chunk. Uh, so you can either have 200 or 400 depending. You know, I'm not going to go through all the rules, but <clears throat> so that's where I'm at. That is a current. That's page one done. And I take her out and look at it and think, Crikey, you're, I forgot how big you are, and I've forgotten how much I love it. So. That is a really nice thing to be looking at these now and realizing just how much you like. So, and one fun thing about this is the pages get smaller because the overlaps. So, um, when I stitch page two, it's got the page, uh, quite a big page um, overlaps, like 15 stitches. And then when I um, do page three, it's got the page two overlap on it. And page four has got page one and page three. So it kind of, they get smaller and smaller and it's wonderful. So it really does feel like you progress with it. So that's the Scarlet Letter, uh, Elizabeth Shepherd, 1820, and that's by the Scarlet Letter. <sighs> Although I only have two in here. The Lizzie Kate Flippets, I, I've fallen out of love with these, but I've got half a set done and I feel like I want to finish them. So they're all kitted up predominantly and um, I have fabric for them all. That is where we're on with July. Mm. So I've got April, January to April, January to May done. Um, I skipped June because I was in, that like, it was at the, nearly the end of July when I last stitched on them, uh, end of June. So June will be my first one to start. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to get those, get them done. I mean, they're not that big, so... I'm stitching 400 stitches on them at least every month. They'll be done. They will be done. Uh, project number three is cardinal points. Um, oh, okay. I need to move that needle minder because that's obviously not a very good place for it. So that's where I'm at with cardinal points. Yeah, that's the left border. There we go. Let's move that needle minder up a bit. Uh, needle minder from Christine, who gifted me the chart and the amazing project bag it's in. And fabric was from Sharon. Oh, and Christine gifted me the threads as well. No, she didn't. I bought the threads. So hopefully Cardinal Points will see some major progress and I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. And lastly, a bit of Christmas stitching. Oh, Tenenbaum. Oh, I'm that. So at the moment I'm stitching the block where my finger is, which is the little house and the sheep. And I did quite, I did quite a lot on that for a challenge list this year. So my challenge is to complete this thing with all the four, about five blocks, and that's about a thousand stitches. So I'm really pleased with it. Oh, I'm gonna stitch on this. I'm, 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 I'm not over Christmas. I'm never gonna be over Christmas stitching. Uh, this is a mystery Ada from Sparklies. It's kind of a dirty grey taupe colour. So every month they will get a minimum of 400 stitches in them. Um, I, do, I am doing whip go and I'm going to put my one, one of my board, I'm do, I've got two whip go boards. Uh, I'm not usually good with these things but we'll give it a go. If it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, so board number one's going here, although it's board two to me. So let me just flip to my whip go page. Mm -hmm. I don't know where Whitco's gone. Whitco's gone. Okay, so my second board. So this is basically my back board. And there are so for any of the any chart that I finish, it's gonna be my new start is Huckleberry Farm from the Blue Flower. Not that I've started kitting it up yet, but let's face it, you've just seen the 
two of them and I've got time. Cardinal uh, Monkey Wrench has 400 stitches in it. Anywho, so my so for each of my baps I've got five um, stitch counts allocated to them and I'm hoping that these actually will be done in the month. I know that with whip go it doesn't necessarily have to be like that but um, that was my plan. So I've got 500 stitches on Elizabeth Shepherd a month, uh, 1000 on Cardinal Points and 500 on Monkey Wrench. So this month I'll be on with stitching Cardinal Points and Monkey Wrench. Right, so my main whip go board, which has kind of got everything else on it, um, I'm going to put here. And um, so this week we've got Santa's house, well, my, uh, this time I pulled finished Santa's house and five days on spot sampler. So those are my two for this month. Um, I've, I've been a bit general in times because I've got things like catch up on cross stitch calendar, catch up on the monthly stockings. Um, I've also put the flippets on there as well, two or three times, three times. Things like finish a small, um, catch up on some of the, like funky menagerie if I've fallen behind. I may have completed it, it might be good, done. First part's great. Um, so kudos to uh, Stephanie at um, Lindy Stitches for such a fun, fun chart that's not difficult, um, <clears throat> but is, you know, it's a fab chart that you just know, you think, oh, this is going to be joy, a joy to stitch. Um, I think I've got things like 10 days on a Christmas whip. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five Christmas whips. So it'll be whatever I feel like stitching. Because um, obviously I'm still doing things like Daily 30, so who knows what I'll have if that comes up in December next year. I might have completely different whips to what's on here. Uh, um, and I've also got finish a small on there three times, I think, three times. So I've got things like the Lizzie Kate strings. I've got some of the monthly sales are small, so I could do one of those. Um, Purple Vinca, Mischief Managed Beaker, and Biscorno. So lots, lots to do um, on there. Uh, so that's going to be fun. So as I said, I've got Santa's House and Spot Sampler to do this month. I will incorporate, all, these will all be, you know, going forward in my regular videos. So, let go. I've got, I've picked a three monthly series to do this year because obviously I has, was so successful in 2019 in completing the Lizzie Kate Flippet stamps that I thought, yeah, three would be great. Just shoot me now. What was I thinking? So, You know me, love me a house. Oh, there you go. That's the trouble living life. It blows things out of it. So the little calendar from Cross Stitcher 2021. I shall be starting for January. Oh, there we go. That's so cute. I mean, they're, they're 38 by 28, I think it is. 30, yeah, 38 by 28, designed by Sharon McKinnon. And I've got a whole load of fabric scraps here to do them on. I haven't put any threads because I should just pull threads as we go. They may end up with just... Ooh. I might try my sole case with this. That's a thought. Yeah, so I've got a list of what fabrics for what. Anywho, so there we go. Um, that's for that. Um, so that's one. I've also got... All the Blackbird Design stocking books. I've already done, I'm not going to do a January one because I've already done, so my plan is for this to be a three year project and do one a month, every month from each book and then year two, second and third. But I've already done Old Lang Syme, it's already on my tree. So I shan't worry about doing those at the moment. Um, so, I don't even know which bag February and they're not they're in order of how I got them. So April, May, June, I think February. Oh, what should I do first? All decisions. Those are my options. I don't know what to do. 
thinking not. Hmm. Do you like the violets? We shall see. That's a that's, a, that's future carry's problem. Put that one in the bag as well so you can see. So. And I don't know what I've done with the book mag magazine because so I'm looking at ah there we go. And uh, as you will have heard from all my flip throughs, I really liked these, this series from Cross Stitcher. This was in 20, throughout 2020. So I'm going to do these because they're only really small. So I'm hoping that, although I may be delayed on these because I think I need fabric. Because these are four by four. And my plan is to get a frame for them. Like, I pretty much do that, just pop them in every month. So I may have to order some 28 count um, something and in just I think most of them are white or raw linen so just get a piece of each and it'll be jobs are good so that's the plan do love a plan um, yeah so those are my three monthly series and I've also I'm going to start this is my new, well, I probably will start all, I don't know. Who knows what's happening tomorrow? Uh, the hands-on design, well-rounded series. I have finishing packs for it and everything. So, um, I don't have the pins. I didn't get the pins. I thought I'd make my own pins because that's what I do. But I have the, the um, ribbony stuff. Oh, what's this? No, it's gone. I can't remember what it's called. So, I think I'm going to start with the winter ones. And although it's not the called for fabrics, the lovely charity shop bag that I picked up from the charity shop had these four linens in, which I think will be perfect. So. There's the threads, so I think they're going to look really great. So, start with the winter one. I haven't decided whether I'm, which size I'm going to do yet. And again, I'm probably going to do one quarter and run those over three years or something along those lines. I don't know. All my plans are tentative at the best of times. I think I'm going to be making a lot of working copies today. The hope is that the two from Cross Stitch of the calendar and then the monthly series in the magazine should be fine in a day. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, right. I'm hoping there'll be some new Frost Tube content. Um, I'd like to go back to doing my weekly, um, so a fortnight, fortnightly. Uh, general video of what I can't think you know yeah fortnightly video of what do you call them like my fortnightly update there you go um uh, with one stitch with me a month and then one video with some something else so uh like the black quirk one um and um I don't know what else if you've got any ideas uh I think I've got a couple of things that I didn't do last year that I planned to do but um, if you've got some ideas about what you'd like to see, let me know below. I, I, I'm happy to go away and do research and things like that. So uh, let me know. I'm by no means an expert in anything, but you know, I'm happy to do. I'm happy to do some videos. So if you've got some ideas, the things you'd like to see, just uh, give me a shout below, and we'll we'll see what we can come up with. Um, so those are my plans. Uh, so what you've seen, I have nothing else kitted up now um, except for Barbara Anna's um, the what's Santa's trips. I can't think of what it's called. Which um, I didn't start this year, so I'm. I'll, 
um, yeah, that'll get worked in somewhere. I'm not, I'm not planning it. I think I've got a lot to be going on with, uh, especially there's a lot of new, I've had a lot of new starts this week. So they're going to still feel pretty new to me uh, as the months roll on. Um, I think at some point I'm going to go through the cupboard and just pull some charts out and just see what I fancy stitching um, next. I haven't bought charts really much, I mean, other than the Blackbird Designs book, I haven't really bought a lot of charts lately. I've been gifted a lot of charts lately, I've been very fortunate um, by my lovely stitchy friends. Um, and I'm excited to see what hubby's bought me. We've got to find um, when uh, Customs finally releases my charts from him. So you won't tell me. Thank you for that. Just go on to one, two, three stitch and check your order. Oh, yeah. Anywho, um, so. <laughs> I hope you all have lots of exciting plans for 2021 or maybe no plans at all. Let me know, let me know down below if you are, um, it's only 30 person that I haven't realised watches my channel and is zombie running. Are you human or are you a zombie? Um, are you doing whip go? Are you one of these people that's going, no plans, just I'm going to, was it sweet wee or something like that, stitch what you want when you want. Um, that's kind of how I am. Um, so I'm just kind of looking at these as all year-long goals that it'll happen eventually, probably. Yeah. So I am going to wrap this video up and wish you all a very happy new year. Uh, I hope it was uh, a nice, safe, happy, socially distanced one. Um, and uh, we'll see what 2020 holds because none of us expected 2020. So um, let's see what the world throws at it. Uh, see what the world throws at us this year uh, next year 2021 but as long as it comes armed with a needle and thread and a bit of fabric i think i'll be happy happy new year friends bye bye